you guys doing this actually feels pretty weird because I have been adjusting and it's just been a lot going on at this point that you see Nala yelling at me with the whole virus thing going on it's just so I haven't been in the mood to film because we just been trying our best to prepare but baby girl is over here getting upset look at her she is getting big and healthy so at this point she is three and a half weeks or th three weeks and like four days or something like that so nala has been in a screaming match let me know if your child went through the same thing because this is a lot i thought it's best that i'm trying to show you guys my day today with two under two as a stay-at-home mom we just got up not too long ago and it is time for food you hear them both going off oh my gosh so i got a banana for nala and i'm gonna just hold this girl because i feel like she's eating a lot and i know they go through this cluster feeding stage but i feel like she's been going through the cluster feed a while and it's borderline becoming overeating but anyway i got a banana for now that is rude so so i just kind of wanted to walk you through my day and see how things go because y'all haven't really got the chance to really get to know noel like you have nala when i first came home from the hospital so at this point you would have seen her go to her first doctor's appointment um, she was seven pounds. I definitely think that she is way above that at this point. Well, she can eat. When I say eat, sometimes she drink almost two ounces at a time, take a break, and like 15 minutes later want to drink another two ounces. Like, it's it's crazy. Wow, that was a bit biting out. I want to make sure that she's not overeating, but they said within four hours they can drink four ounces, I think, something like that. I don't know, but it just sounds like a whole lot of, a whole lot of. Usually how my routine goes, I'll wake up, I'll get her ready to go, come in here, set her up, put her on a, a snuggle me, and a lounger. Y'all know when it came to Nala, I was like the boppy lounger queen because i love that thing but i have a snuggle with me too so i bounce upon the two so i would bring her in here set her up and usually around oh that's around eight o'clock 7 50. i'm trying to get nala to get on a schedule where she's where she's waking up or getting up around 8 30. that's my goal so that i can get a good amount of sleep because i'm usually the one going to bed with noel so that is the goal. Usually after um, I'm set Noel up, I make her food. I make Nala food, which is usually like oatmeal or something like that. I just went to go buy a banana, so I'm happy about that. This could be her her breakfast. <laughs> then she just plays. That's really it. I do still give her formula. I give her formula like three times a day. So I'll give her it in the morning time um, when she first wakes up. So after getting her up finally, I would put her in her chair, feed her milk while she watched Sesame Street. And then um, after about 30 minutes, then I'll give her her first lunch and this is where we are now. So it's almost time for no to eat. That's why she was looking like that. But I'm trying to get her to procrastinate a little bit. Because she last ate around 7.50. What time is it now? It's 9.15. It's almost an hour and a half ago. I don't know, but as long as she wants to eat, I'm going to give it to her if she cries for it. But I'm going to try to see if I can distract her. As far as them two getting along, I still have to be very careful about them two being around each other. 
because Nala doesn't understand how small she is. She's just not understanding that she's a body, but she did. I don't know. The only thing she's fascinated by is her feet and her hair. And Noah has a claw teared up right now, too. So she's like going through it and get gaining some baby act. But let me go try to get her bottle made, situated, and then I'll come right back. So, um, so I was going to leave you guys behind while I made her bottle, but I thought it would be a good idea, ooh, I'm forgetting stuff, to actually show you guys how much I actually give her. But before that, I mentioned that she had a claw tear duct, and I was about to clean it, but I want to show you guys what that looks like. And baby's got a claw tear duct, and what you do about it. It'll be hard for me to actually show you, but you know. So, it looks crazy, but yeah. So, well, you see, her eye has all that pus in it. That's what it looks like when they got a claw tear duct. And it kicks up. So she just did this one. And it's been getting better. But out of nowhere it got like this. So you have to like clean out. The corner portion. White from outside in. Towards the tear duct. And then press down their nostril side. And then you got to keep doing it. Until it goes away. So I thought it was going away. But obviously not. So this is my clean rag and with warm water you would kind of clean from outside in and then uh, down the nostril. So make sure you don't press hard though and always do this with clean rag. You don't have to get new rat every single well, yeah. I, as long as it's not far apart from each other, I usually just use a different corner every time and keep this on my counter. So they say to help get rid of this, it's after you clean the gunk out or the it usually pressed up. Then you would take your finger and kind of a circular motion around the tear duct and then go down the side of the nostril. So, not pressing hard and then down the side. So the main thing is, you just want to press the side down on the nose. That's really what's going to help drain because usually when we get our, like, I guess, a part of our tear duct, it usually goes like in the back of our, I guess down on sinus and the nostril and then down the back of our throat. And that's the reason why, ooh, that doesn't happen to us, but to them, it doesn't happen. This same thing happened to Nala, so. And then I just do this a couple of times. She, she don't really care for this. I know. We use the other side to clean her face. She's starting to get baby acne. Okay. All she want to do is eat. I know. I know. She got more of a voice than Nala did too. But that's baby girl. Look at her. <laughs> you like looking at yourself? She like, give me a bottle. Bro, I think she's pooping. But let me help her get out of here because I left Nala in the room. Uh, I already got it safety barricaded and all that stuff, so she can't really get into nothing. I'm going to just grab a to-go bottle really quickly just to go back in since I took extra time out. And don't have the time to warm up a new bottle, so hold on.
I mean, I could take out the extra time, but no, not, not right now. That's also another new thing. Nala is walking more. Look at her. Oh, good girl. Oh, phone call. 